What's going on guys? Jan C. Nick here and who are we with and what did you do today? Uh, my name is Mac Demianchuk and uh, I just got my invite to LA Regional. I went X1-2 uh, playing Rose Dragon Runic. Nice, nice. Uh, let's hop right in. Alright, uh, started off, I'll just put it all towards you. Uh, I played three Red Rose Dragon. This card just came off the ban list. It's broken. I uh, use it for synchro material. You can summon Rocks Rose from deck. Uh, and this card lets you search uh, the other part of the engine, which is the Basil Rose Shoot. Uh, which is a reborn or a special summon from hand. Uh, all of these are key components. They're level three tuners. And if you start with this, it allows you uh, this plus one range spell allows you to get to uh, two rank eight, uh, level eight synchros. Uh, and then if you start with this one, it's one level eight synchro uh, plus like some follow up, additional follow up. Uh, both of them are pretty good, but. Uh, Obviously, like the bread and butter is just to draw one of these plus a one variant spell or two variant spells at any point, start cooking. Uh, the other part of the engine that's like essential is the Bistial engine. Uh, I play three Lubellion, one Regain, and then I play three uh, different named Bistials. Mm -hmm. uh, this allows your grind game to be consistent. Branded Regain plus like any runner card is like insane. Uh, you just banish their stuff, get free draws. And then you win the game. Plus, there's always follow up for any of these. Uh, so, just keeping constant circulation of monsters so you deck your opponent out or win by creating a crazy board. Very good. Uh, lastly, for the other parts of like non engine, uh, I would say two Ash. Uh, I didn't want to play three in the main deck at least because I just don't want to brick on like drawing too many of the same cards, honestly. Same thing with the two talents. Yeah, you, because playing Runic, you cycle through your deck quite a bit. Yeah, you only want to see like one to each copy, well, unless it's like an actual well, starter card in actual. your deck. Um, and then for the random, like, I don't want to say random, but the other like uh, engine pieces that you play for your combos, uh, you play the Black Garden, which is searchable off the Synchro 5 that you make in every combo. Um, and then when you make the Synchro 5, it allows you to uh, Synchro Climb because of this card. Uh, I guess you do the Sector Synchro if you need it. And then Chicken Game to the searchable of Ancient Berry Dragon, which you also use in some combos. Okay, nice. Yeah, uh, there's like, if you draw an extra level 3 of any sort, so any of these, uh, you could summon Gary if you have a second runic, and then summon the Ancient Fairy, and then pop your uh, runic heal spell, and then uh, you search the Chicken Game, you get additional draw, you summon the Gary, bring this back, and then uh, you just like summon a 3, make a chain game afterwards. Pretty good. Uh, and then for the Ruinix. Uh, I play one Smiting Storm, one in Golden Droplet. Uh, this one I prefer over Dispelling because you can always use this, it's always legal to activate. So sometimes you just want to trigger the fountain and get your additional draws. Even if it costs you giving them a draw, it's sometimes worth it. Yeah. Um, and then a very standard lineup, three tip. Three uh, Flash and Fire, three Destruction, three Slumber, three Freezing Curse. Uh, 17 Runics. Yeah, yeah, 17 Runics. Runics. 17 to 18, I feel like, is like, the best way to play any Runic deck. Uh, so, this felt good to me. I felt like I always drew at least one in every hand. Uh, extra deck, I played two Hugin, whatever he is. She is. Uh, you know, very standard. You use it with the Red Rose and then get you to your synchro uh, climbing. Uh, also just the protection effect for the fountain also comes up, or even like your brand new regain just to protect either. Get your uh, engine to keep going. Gary is also for the same. Uh, you loop multiple of these in your like turn one combo a lot of the times, and usually are fine doing so, because the regain you just banish with the bestial, and you just circle it back to the extra deck, and then it's like you never lost it in the first place. I only play one, play the SP Little Knight. These are fusions, easy to summon. You just easily make anything uh, into the SP fodder. Uh, baits out things right away. Also, it helps beat like the Runic Mirror itself. So I need to explain more of it. And then, the more standard stuff for your combos. Uh, it searches the Black Garden, which uh, when you do your basic combo, after you summon this, you search the Black Garden, you activate it, you reborn a level three, get some of their token, you make the Crystal Wing, which you play two copies of. Okay. Uh, which is your fifth summon always. Nice, um, nice. And then, uh, because you summon this and the uh, Rose Dragon, 
you could activate the Black Garden to destroy the tokens you summoned to their field, and then it lets you reborn this. And then because you have the level three in here, you make the second one. Okay. That's yeah, pretty clutch. Um, the other lower level ones, uh, I play F.A. Dom Dragster. It usually comes up uh, if you draw a Red Rose plus like two Runics. Um, Ancient Fairy Dragon comes up for time because uh, it gives a thousand life points. Uh, it lets you extend further into any of the Synchro 10s that you play. It also lets you get access to uh, Black Garden or Chicken Game if you weren't able to do it otherwise. Um, and then I play Black Rose Dragon. Uh, I wanted to summon this a couple times, but it ended up just not being worth it. Uh, I think you should still play it uh, for the future, but uh, it may not come up as much as I originally thought. Um, and then the other card that does come up a lot is a Cocker Dragon. This card is crazy. Uh, a lot of the times I just summon this as like, I summon a Bishio with after using Lebelion or something, and then I'll just summon this, get the additional draw, draw into like another runic spell, or sometimes I just keep it on the field as an interruption, it'll just pop the field spell or like uh, the continuous spell for U Bell. Yeah. Uh, it, it does a lot, and it also gains attack for whatever reason. For every yeah, it's, like, it's literally Slight for the Sky Dragon with better effects. Yeah, this card is crazy. <laughs> I, I love this card. I, I summon this so many times today. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, the other synchros that we play, two level 10s. Uh, this comes up with your Ancient Fairy Dragon combos. Uh, the Chaos Angel also comes up for like Hugin plus Rebellion. Um, and sometimes just like sticking on the field to make you think unaffected by like Nibiru and things comes up as well. It's really clutch. Yeah. Advantage is really good. 3500, can't beat that. And then the Chain Gang, best card in the deck with Runic cards. Every single turn it just advantage too. And if you're using like Destruction with something or Advantage Nip with something, and then you just get or Flash and Fire, you get so much advantage out of this card. It's unreal. Yeah. It starts to be banned at some point. <laughs> That crazy. And then the last card uh, came up a couple times. It's more so just a summon when I have Lubellion plus one of the level threes. Uh, it's like Den Punisher. There's not really a lot of good Synchro 11s, unfortunately. Uh, this is the one that has the most utility. Yeah. Where you can randomly just like gain attack, make it unaffected by things. Yeah. Uh, yep. You can also just manage a card, pay a thousand life points if you like. You want to be down in like chicken game for whatever reason. Oh, uh, okay. And just yeah. Keep the chicken game on the field. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of corny, but it definitely it definitely works. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, I, d I definitely like the card. It, it did perform pretty well. Yeah, playing chicken game, it kind of just makes sense. Yeah. And then uh, lastly, uh, my side deck. Uh, the main deck was 40 cards, extra deck 15. Uh, sorry, I'm missing a card here. Uh, so it's three Phantasma. It's already uh, obvious because you play uh, the Magnumut in the main deck. Uh, so this and the Ubel is like insane. A lot of the times, like, you just summon this against one of their Link Monsters. And they get scared that you have Nibiru or a Druid's Worm, Bistro of some sort. And so they'll just let this fly. But you get to fix your hand with Runic cards. And Runic cards just break the whole Uvel board by themselves if you draw enough. Yeah, yeah. So this plus like the, uh, any like Runic spell, you go into battle, you use like Destruction or something out the back row. Then you don't have to fight over uh, the Ubels. And you beat over something that's like big. They can't target this with anything. You just discard and protect it. It's, it's really solid. Um, I definitely, I, this is the MVP of the week. Um, and lastly, for the hand traps uh, that are like usable, uh, the second visuals and then uh, the Ash Blossom for okay. like, the branded matchup or Labyrinth, you know, something like that. Uh, I just wanted to have access to it for yeah. those important matchups. Yeah, the are, the are matchups. You. And then, unfortunately, we're playing Runic cards, so uh, a lot of times we go into time, unfortunately, because sometimes our opponents don't want to scoop. Yeah, they don't, know when, they, don't know when, they don't know when it's over. Yeah, or sometimes you just can't win the game, unfortunately, because you have to play the runic cards. Uh, so this is something that is a necessary evil. It does come up, it's also a level 3, if just by chance you draw it. Yeah. It's something, right? Yep, yep. Uh, Back to 3 access days. Yeah, and then I was scared of runic stun, so I played this card. I probably shouldn't have, but it was fine. Okay. Uh, runic stun doesn't exist, I guess. And then... Uh, Called by the Grave and the Power Sink Stone because this is the best floodgate to play with, like Crystal Wing. Okay. I uh, use Crystal Wing after you activate something. Banned. <laughs> yeah, then it, it just still drain for the turn. And Called by the Grave is the sack card. Nice, nice. So that's it. Nice, today. congratulations. Any other last minute shout outs? Uh, shout out to everybody in Jersey, uh, everybody at Locals, and the MB Discord. There you go. All right, guys, this is Jan C. Nick signing out. Peace.